Imagine never running out of CO2 for your soda stream and being able to refill these cylinders for just a dollar or two. In this video, I'm going to cover whether a five pound tank or a 20 pound tank is the best choice for refilling CO2 cylinders. We'll break down the pros and cons of each, including cost, convenience, and the technical details about the difference between these two tanks because it's about much more than just their size. First, let's talk about the cost. You can get a five pound, like this one from Kegland, for around $100 new. However, the cost per pound of CO2 is generally cheaper when you buy in bulk. This means that while a 20 pound tank like this one has a higher upfront cost of around $160, you're gonna save money in the long run on refilling costs. Filling a 20 pound tank can cost anywhere from 10 to $50, depending on your location. Here in Portland, I get my 20 pound tank filled with food grade CO2 at a local home brewing store for about $40. Let's consider convenience for a second. Now a five pound tank is significantly smaller and lighter, makes it a lot easier to handle and store than my 20 pound tank. And unfilled, this one is 7.4 pounds versus 24.44 pounds for our 20 pound tank. Now remember the pound number refers to how many pounds of CO2 the tank will hold, not its actual empty weight. So the empty weight, the TW that's stamped on the side, the tarry weight, right there, 7.8 pounds, TW 7.8 pounds. The most important part of refilling is, I think, making the process easy and safe. If you can do it in a repeatable process without having to think too much, it just makes it much simpler. And that's why this next difference between the five pound tank and the 20 pound tank is so key. But first, let's talk about some safety. Safety is paramount when handling CO2 tanks. I use a handy CO2 meter just for some extra peace of mind when I'm refilling. You always wanna be near a source of fresh air. And if you experience any headaches, trouble breathing, confusion, make sure to get outside immediately. Never store these tanks in extreme heat as the higher temperature can increase the pressure inside the tank. The other main safety concern with these tanks is them tipping over and this neck and stem area breaking off. Tanks could fly around. So be really careful when you're moving these. Make sure to secure them when you're not using them to make sure that some kiddos or animals don't knock them over in your home. Now this 20 pound tank contains what's known as a dip or siphon tube. And the siphon tube will take liquid out of the CO2 from the bottom of the tank and release it out of the valve. Let me show you here. So quick CO2 lesson, the state of CO2, whether it's liquid, solid, or gas, is mostly dependent on temperature and pressure. So CO2 is stored as a liquid when it's under high pressure in like a tank or a cylinder, and then it turns into a gas when it's released into normal atmospheric pressure. So what we're in right now. Liquid CO2 will instantly vaporize into a gas in normal atmospheric pressure. And it's so sensitive to pressure that even in its frozen state, which is known as dry ice, it'll sublimate or turn to a gas when it's no longer kept cold enough. Again, CO2, very sensitive to temperature and pressure. So now that we understand a bit about the different states of CO2, let's look at our tanks, one with a siphon tube and one without, and look at the key differences. So inside our tanks, the pressure is actually gonna remain pretty constant when the tanks are full. Liquid CO2 takes up less space, and as the liquid goes down, more gas takes over the space to keep the pressure inside of the tank constant. Now, when we're refilling, we really wanna transfer liquid CO2 into our cylinders. Five pound tanks do not have what's known as a siphon tube. They have to be flipped over or inverted during the refilling process to ensure that you get liquid CO2 out of the valve. So if you look here, without a siphon tube, you're just gonna get gas out of the top. And this makes the refilling process impossible. You need to be taking liquid CO2 out of your tank into your receiving cylinder. This is the biggest reason for me to use my 20 pound tank for refilling. I don't wanna risk the safety issues of inverting my 25 pound tank. And you're only gonna get about six cylinders from a five pound tank, whereas I'll get you know, 24, 25, 26 from my 20 pound tank. For refilling any soda stream cylinder or any CO2 cylinder, you gotta go with a 20 pound tank with a siphon tube. This way you're getting liquid CO2 from the bottom out into your cylinders. Now for directly connecting to a soda stream, you don't want a tank with a siphon tube. You actually want the gas directly. You don't want liquid CO2. So a five pound tank is perfect for directly hooking up into a soda stream, but not for refilling. So 
So I've actually got this one attached to a direct connection that can go directly into my quick connect cylinder or quick connect system in my soda stream. So remember how CO2 state depends on temperature and pressure. Another key is freezing your cylinders. So we can control a bit of the temperature. Liquid CO2 is going to transfer much more smoothly from our donor tank to our cylinder if the destination is at a much lower temperature and a much lower temperature keeps the pressure down keeps it in a liquid state during the transfer, ensuring successful refill. I cannot emphasize this enough. You will have a nearly impossible time refilling these cylinders without freezing them first. It's a must do. The five pound tank is ideal for directly connecting into your soda stream due to its convenience and lack of a siphon tube. However, for refilling your soda stream cylinders, oh, the 20 pound tank with a siphon tube is the right choice. Now, not all of these have a siphon tube, so make sure you get one that does if you're doing refills with this tank. It offers long-term cost savings, fewer trips for refills, and a safer, simpler refilling process. Now, always remember to prioritize safety, work in a well-ventilated area, and make sure to freeze your cylinders before refilling. Thanks for watching, and you can watch my step-by-step -step process for refilling these CO2 cylinders from a 20-pound tank in my next video here.